Hello and welcome to Zabbix Handy Tips. Today we will learn how to restrict the execution of specific Zabbix agent item keys with allow key and deny key parameters. First, let's switch over to our terminal window where I'm currently connected to my monitored host with Zabbix agent installed on it. Let's now navigate to the Zabbix agent configuration directory. By default, it is located in Etsy Zabbix. Let's open the Zabbix agent configuration file, zabbixagentd.conf. Note that the configuration file name will be different if you're using Zabbix Agent 2. Next, let us define an allow key and a deny key. First, I'm going to define the deny key. Deny reading the contents of files in the Etsy folder. Now, to create an exception, let's define a new allow key. That will permit us to read the contents of the OS release file. Note that the order in which these entries are defined does matter. The first matched allow or deny key entry, reading from the top to the bottom of the file, will be the one that the Zabbix agent will enforce. After we have defined our allow and deny keys, we need to restart the Zabbix agent for the changes to take place. Let's test these rules from the terminal with the test command line parameter. We can see that Zabbix agent cannot read the contents of the password file. If we try the same with the OS release file, which we defined as the exception, the contents are obtained successfully. Lastly, let's navigate to the monitoring latest data section in our front end and take a look at our items. The item that attempts to get the contents of the password file is left in an unsupported state. This is due to our deny key. On the other hand, the item responsible for reading contents from the OS release file does so without any issues because it is permitted to do so based on our allow key parameter.